What's good, everybody? Welcome to the show. Here to break down live power book four for season two, episode one. Finally, here it seemed like we've been waiting forever. Um, it's been about a year um, since we last seen the show, and it's good to be back. Uh, we see a lot going on, and one of the things I'm gonna focus on this episode uh, is. Claudia and her doing too much, making stupid moves. She called herself partnering with her brother to take over with her new drug, but it don't seem like it's working out all too well for her. And one of the things that we see is she killed the chemist because she thought that that chemist, that beautiful brain with them lips that, you know, man, <laughs> because she thought that she put the little drug recipe online. She didn't do any type of investigating, any type of thought, anything into it. And when I broke it down in the first reaction video, I really didn't catch that because, you know, they switch up stuff so fast to the next scene to scene that who the one that leaked it is Tommy. Because once Diamond talked to him and said pretty much that, hey, Claudia got Dahlia back up and running, that could be a problem for us. Tommy said, oh, okay, I, I can fix that. No problem. Hey, hey, JP, I need you to do it solid for me. Hey, JP, next thing you know, the recipe is online and JP knew the recipe. And so she got screwed by Tommy twice. <laughs> without even getting none of the weenus because she not only killed her chemist, which was stupid because, okay, yeah, it's other people out there, just like it's a lot of people that sell weed and coke and every other drug. But now she don't have her cook in the kitchen and he screwed her by having the recipe out there. So he hit her with the double whammy up in this piece. Now I want to give a shout out to everybody that was, here from the beginning, sending messages before I even went live and everybody that's here now as well. And one thing that I used to do, and I'm going to do it, go back to it a little bit, try it out, is give people a chance to come and chat live and talk about the show with me. So if you want to talk about the episode or the show, uh, I'm going to give people a few minutes a piece, you know, if they want to come on up and chat, I put the link in the comments. So it's the live comments. So if you're watching on the replay, you missed it. You got to start coming live. Um, and normally I do go live at 10, but since this episode was over with at nine, I wanted to go live right after the episode. So, um, you know, shout out to everybody watching live came through. Shout out to everybody watching on Facebook and, and Twitch as well and Twitter. And of course, everybody here with YouTube. Uh, what's up, Rashonda? One of the first in the building. What's good with you? My girl, Mitzi G. She said, Claudia is doing too much. To say what she said to that black genius, she and Tommy and Liliana turned into slaves, a work mule to make money for them. Damn. Missy G broke it down, which pretty much is what Claudia was doing. <coughs> Went down. <coughs> Drinking water. <laughs> went down the wrong way but <coughs> excuse me Whew. but anyway <coughs> she pretty much thought she owned that woman saying you don't have an option and that you work for me and that woman was pretty much listening to her <coughs> but Claudia, I guess, felt 
once that was out, she was betrayed. But she did try to think that she can keep that woman in there just cooking it up. And that was crazy. And the old girl said, because Claudia, she was saying, I don't want to do this. I got to go. I'll give you the recipe. And she said, no, you got to tough it out. When I was going through this, I had to go through whatever. So, so do you. She said, yeah, but you chose that. You wanted to go through that. I don't. It's, you don't have a choice. I own you or you die. Damn. I mean, that's crazy. So, you know, uh, that was Claudia. You know, she she definitely may be one of the main characters to die this, this season. Because she definitely is making some waves. Plus, when you're on Tommy's bad side, it never ends good. <laughs> uh, I definitely would not want to be on Tommy's bad side and uh, you know hopefully that never happens Demarcus Vaughn what's good what's good my brother Jay Lynn you saw the episode it was good it was pretty good episode I liked it um, I gave it a eight and a half on the Moscow um, so you know Wait, did I give it an eight and a half or an eight? I gave it an eight or eight and a half on the most though. Relax and chill. What's good? What's good? Big Bird, what's up, man? How you feeling? That's what's up. Crystal Black. What up, Jay? We back. That's right. Louisiana boy. Mr. C. Mickey had it coming. I know, right? <laughs> C. Mickey. What's up, Halima? How you doing, sis? Let me see if I can drink a little sip of water without dying this time. Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> All right. There's the sip. All right. All right. You say, Jay Lynn, I told you Claudia didn't know she could have changed the recipe. I know, right? That is a good point. But if people, the customers would have said they wasn't getting them high or feeling the way they felt or whatever, I mean, she would have said it ain't getting the same feedback or people complaining, but, you know. What's up, Ask Brenda, checking in. What's up? Thanks for the check-in, sis. Crystal, what's up? You say, hey, I know I'm probably late, but just got home from work. You ain't late. You right on time, sis. Whenever you pull up, you all good. 305, Jay, have you done your Walter Flynn impersonation? I don't do that shit. What are you talking about? I don't have to do a Walter Flynn impression. I am him. I am him. When you are who you are, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything, okay? I don't play that shit. Tommy Egan, Tommy Fuka Egan. It's going to die. I handle everything. Dublin, they come and they ask me, what happened to the man we sent you? I don't know. I don't know what happened. They don't know. They tell me, pay this money. I say, uh, oh, you yeah, have enough respect for my family like we have to do. We made sure we paid you. We made sure we took care of you. And this is what we get. This is what you do. Oh, I don't play that shit. I'm going to tear you down. I want to make sure you have the money for the family. We're going to get it paid. We're going to tear down this city. When Tommy Egan brick by brick. I know this is a bad impression. I don't care about that shit. <laughs> hey, what's up, Gina? How you doing? Gemini Don, you say Claudia trying to be a extra, super extra gangster. I know, right? Definitely. Louisiana boy, Tommy is a ruthless dude. I know, right? <laughs> you say Gemini Don, mark my words, they're going to call him Tommy Effin Egan this entire season because they're going to feel his wrath and it's going to piss him off. You kill little Anna and that is what you do? For a little sky face, bro, this is what you want. He's a war. What if you want a war, Tommy? 
Bring the goddamn you are. Bring the damn you are. I'm ready for the shine. Okay? I don't play. I handle everything and I'll tear that shit down brick by brick. Okay? <laughs> What's up, boy? I like that other dude, uh, Jnar. Hey, Jnar. They call me the serves. Jnar, the great negotiator. Jnar, you tell me I take my support from Tommy. But then you say you killed Tommy, bro. He's still alive, Jnar. Jnar, the great negotiator. You say you want to do this, huh, Jnar? Jnar, we're going to kill you if you don't get that turf bag, Jnar. I don't play. I come from war-torn country in Serbia, Jnar. We have kids with bomb and backpack, okay? That's how we live. I don't play. Jnar, get me my money or my turf or you die. <laughs> Jnar. <laughs> Do Tommy voice talking to Claudia. <laughs> hey, look, I know you thinking about putting that dolly out on the street, but let me tell you something. I ain't letting you come back into this business. I, I'm going to take care of that, okay? Hey, hey, where, where me call my brother? Hey, hey, brother, put, do me a solid. Put that on there, okay? Hey, what is you talking about? You think you was about to come and just what, put me out of business? Hell no. I want it all. I want the whole pie, the whole city. I don't, I'm from New York. I don't give a damn about the different coups in Chicago. <laughs> Tommy tried to take over New Chicago and be the number one uh, distro in Chicago. I mean, you pretty much asking for trouble from everybody, from the haters in the business to cops. I mean, you're going to have the eye on you if you're number one. I mean, I'm sure the number one and two got the eye on them right now. So... Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> so, you know. What up, what up, Stephen Harris? How you feeling, brother? Patty, Patty, what's up, sis? You say, AJ hey, in the chat. I give it a seven. Claudia killing old girl was dumb. Definitely dumb. <clears throat> wait till she found out JP is who put it out. I can't wait for her to find that out. She's going to look so stupid and it's going to be good because that was this idiotic move. And, uh, you know, like she trying to be too gangster. This is the same for you. She she think that she can be her daddy. I think she got some type of chip on her shoulder of being maybe pushed to the side or neglected as being number one because she's a woman in their family. And uh, by Pops, look, that is a woman's job. You need to clean the house, pay the bills, run the business. That is your job. That is what a woman do. You don't go around killing and put out blow. You don't put out people's lives. You don't do that. You don't have balls. That's a cool, okay? It's a difference. It's a difference, okay? You can't kill. You're not a killer. <laughs> you say, I'm going to make sure I put your ass and bury you in the new pot of gold. I'm going to bury you under your rainbow. At the end of your rainbow, you keep it up, all right? I bury you under the end of your rainbow. <laughs> Patty, Patty, we about to see Blanca again now that they got Tommy fingerprints and know he alive. I know he is alive. I know he is alive. We only find two thesis. We find two thesis. I said, look, how is he burning her like that and we only find the two thesis? Huh? This is no sense. I know baby, Dindy. I've been in Vedic Gardini's cave for so long. 
I know that we have a more than the Tommy Egan, a very man. They're going to pull the TV down in the car. He pull it out of the TV. He run it out of the car and he pull it down. And we take it away. But I never believe it is. I never believe it is. I'm going to come in. I'm going to make it sure. We're going to investigate. I'm going to give it to Tommy Egan and the James and Patrick. He probably like to. I'm going to give it all. The college he like it go. I know. He learned it from the go. I give it on. I am the FBI. <laughs> hey. Anybody want to come up and talk about the show or ask me some questions, I'm going to put the link in the description box. Feel free to come on through. What's good? Let's see. Mitzi G. Looks like Rojas may see Diamond soon. Cause look like he going back. <laughs> you don't come back to where I'm from, Diamond. I'm going to run you over. You don't want this, Diamond. You want to come back home where I am? I'll see you real soon. Yes, I will. And when I see you, I'm already ready for drive-bys. I tell them, push me real fast. da 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 da, -da. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you could run, but I can roll. Got you. They call me Roll Haas. <laughs> so, Big Bird, you say, what's bugged out to me is if the police are investigating these murders. Is, is it like that in the shot? <laughs> well, I will say, and this is one thing that we had to be aware of in the reality of life and in big cities especially, but really pretty much in all the cities is that police, which this may be a future problem. I know I'm about to go off on a tangent, but that's why they're going to probably have RoboCops eventually with this AI and stuff because police are people just like everybody else and they can only hire but so many detectives and if you're in a big city and you got people getting killed every other day or multiple times a day, for example, in Chicago, I mean, how many, if you got 600 murders, let alone shootings, how many cases could one detective really work properly in a year? How many detectives could you have? How long can they work on a case? So, I mean, it's probably scary. I should Google it. Let's see. Uh, let's do a little experiment. I'm going to Google. What's the average time a Chicago detective spends on a murder case? It's probably about to be very scary. Let's see. Some of y'all may have uh, already Googled this before or noticed, but let's see. I'm going to Google it and put it on the screen, so... Let me switch it up. But that's pretty good and interesting because, uh, you know, that's why a lot of murders don't get solved in big cities. And small cities is even worse because they may have a smaller budget and then they have fewer detectives and then they may have less experience because in a small town, town, a lot of things don't happen. So it may even be worse. Let's see. What the... Average time in Chicago I just gotta move this <laughs> Chicago detective Spain. All right, this probably be really scary. It says, what is the average amount of time it takes to solve a murder case? Uh, let's see. So how long does it normally take 
It says some are medial. Yeah, that's not really let's see. How many days a week do they work? How many? How where do detectives spend? What's the success rate? Why do murder cases take how long? How likely is a murder case to be solved? Fifty one percent. And that's across the nation. So you got a 50-50 chance across the nation for your murder to be solved. You know, that's scary out there, y'all. It ain't like a, t a TV show where people get solved all the time. Or in Chicago, on this show, Power, hey, it ain't that good. Let's see, what percentage of murder solved by confession? That's probably damn near all of them. 39%. Oh, I was way off. Uh, let's see. How many go undetected? False confession. Uh, detective force. Chicago detective force dwindles as murder rate soars. Damn. Chicago had 488 murder cases and solved 223. So that's le less than half. Yeah. It ain't good, man. Because... And see, you know what? The scary part is this is what's going to make people call for the RoboCops of the world and AI. It's coming. It's already out. They already got the machines built. This self-driving stuff, all they're going to do is put it into the RoboCops and they're going to be self-driving and walking around and going to stuff and they're going to say, hey, at least it won't be no more police brutality and things like that because they won't be racist. That's RoboCop. He not racist. <laughs> RoboCop sees no color. He just sees the law. RoboCop doesn't get tired with AI and he's plugged into the supercomputers. He can solve 88% of murders instead of 48. <laughs> he can double it. Yay. People, you never know, man. It's going to be something else. Anyway, Neek XO said, when are you recapping the shot? Good question. So that will be Sunday. I will be doing the shot on Sunday. Sunday is the actual day they air the shot on Showtime, but they put it on Fridays on the app just like stars now has power i think that maybe stars move power to fridays because most of the really good shows that are on cable come on sundays and so now they got their own day kind of on cable with a friday show now showtime is i guess kind of doing the half and half by allowing people to see the shy on Fridays. But I think they may be hurting maybe some of the viewership because they don't play the episode until Sunday. So most people, like for example, this comes out on a Friday on the app, but then it comes out Friday on TV. So yeah, maybe a few people will watch it. Uh, a lot of people may watch it on the app, but it comes right on on the same day later, so the same people may watch it twice. Whereas if you have maybe three-day difference, like with the shy, I think maybe a lot more people may watch it on the app, and then they may not watch it live, and it may hurt some of the ratings on their live. That's just my thoughts. I don't have no proof or opinion, but I hope that's not the case. Um, I don't know how they track watching uh, apps and things, but they do track it and they do pay in residuals for people that watch shows on the app. So I guess, you know, they figured out some way to make it count. I'm gonna drink some more water. Hopefully I don't die. I'll be talking like Tommy Flanagan Frazee. I'm getting old, y'all. September 17th, I'm going to be 45 years old, y'all. 
September 17th is my birthday. I'm getting up there, man. Never imagined this age or what I'd be doing and thinking and stuff. So September 17th, man, 45 years old. Getting up there. Getting up there. So, hey, now water kills me. I can't take it. I have a little bit of problems, but I don't worry. I handle it. I handle everything. Okay? Don't let all the problems that told me. Fucking living. Stop me from what I need to do. What I do is I'm going to survive. <laughs> See, for sure, and Tommy in the murder game. And it's just called the game. It's not in the Google Play Store, Big Bird. Okay? This is not in the Google Play Store. Let's see. Mitzi G is what? Is that why they don't care if the black head, Diamond, and Jannar get clowned and then Jannar get his butt whipped twice? Tommy got respect. I mean, I don't know. Definitely... For, I mean, Tommy, he, I won't say he got too much respect because he, he did kind of get punked by old boy, the little midget shorty uh, that said, who is that, Casper the Friendly Ghost? Who is that, Casper the Friendly Ghost? Oh, I ain't a ghost, but I am pretty friendly. You got a bag? I ain't got no bag. Stay out of chat. I'm somewhere we supposed to go over there. We who gonna make that money? Who how we gonna pay our bill? We, we supposed to go over there and be listening to Jannard. So you what? Working with this white boy, huh? Diamond. Man, what the hell is up with this? Hey, look, man. I ain't working for him. We work to get. We work to get. All right. Chill. Now, you with us or not? I. <laughs> oh boy, was super mad. Man, some more people should not go over there. Give me these bricks. Hey, man, that's Jannard. If he come over here, man, I say blow y'all puss in the man. What's up? Yeah, they said that. What? They call me Muggy, because all I do is mean mug all day. What? What? You got my money? Muggy. <laughs> Dude face was super mad, boy. And those listening on the podcast, shout out to everybody listening on the podcast. I was making mean faces. Anyway. <laughs> uh... Let's see. <laughs> Gina, you say that's a Sunday, bro. We having a party. I know, right? Everybody pull up this Sunday, 10 p.m., breaking down the shy. May even talk about some other things. So come on through if you want to come on and hear some more about the shy. All right. <laughs> uh, man, so. Let's get back to Claudia for a little bit before we wrap this up. Because I don't know, I may not go a full hour. I'm starting to try to think how I might do some of these lives. Although, uh, you know, I'm going to kind of go and and we'll see how it go. We'll try it out. Um, But uh, anyway, I think Claudia, out of the main characters that's on the show, I think she does have chance of being out of here. Hold on, let me change this up, son. Uh, I think I'm gonna take this liquor down. I'm gonna change it up. Take the liquor off. I'm gonna drink it all up. <laughs> nah, but get get the liquor down and maybe put something else up there, some movies or something. But uh, anyway, Claudia. Out of the main characters, I know it may be, well, it ain't maybe. It's very early 
in the show, but the way Tommy is bent on getting revenge for Liliana and making sure that whoever shot her pays, even though they were in like a, a shootout. So, I mean, hey, when you're in a shootout, it's a little different than somebody taking you out. I mean, in that shootout, anybody was could have got, you know, it was a free fall. Tommy! The Americans are done. Tommy! To make it the best, Tommy! Tommy! I will loyal to you, Tommy. Tommy! The little puta. The capital. I had a doggy day. I know I'm not a doggy day. <laughs> but uh, you was a real one. Hey, you was a professional, a real one. I, I never hit it, but if you were the Scarface, I would have. I would have. I lo- you touch my heart. Whoever take her down, gonna die. <laughs> so, hey, the way it's going, it definitely ain't looking good for Claudia because. He's probably, that's where it can go because he may have sympathy. They do have a little bit of a history, although they on bad terms right now. He may have some sympathy for, not on, they're not on the worst of terms. But then again, it could go the opposite way. And this could push him on the other side of the fence and say, oh, now I'm all in on her. So either he could go and say, oh, no, it's her. I'm a chill. Or, oh, it's her. Well, that's perfect. Now I'm really going to get her. I knew it. So I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, we'll see. Before I get up out of here, Jay Lynn, you say, I feel Jannard snitched on Diamond's parole officer. Oh, that's a good one. And uh, it's possible. We didn't see that. But the way things is going and the way Jannard operate, it's possible. And then the way that the show is, a lot of the same things happen. For example, we saw when Diamond was having his little meeting in the beginning with his crew. He happened to be in a dirty little warehouse telling them what's going on. And they even use some of the exact same words. He's like, yo, they dead to me. And Jannard in there. Hey, man, anybody messing with Diamond and them, CB, they dead to me over there. They like saying even the same stuff and then the same type of locations. Now, one can say they brothers and think similar. But, you know, you never know. So, yeah, it's possible. We see that... Um, Tommy pretty much snitched and put the recipe out there. So, yeah, I wouldn't put it past him. Let's see. Uh, let me get up out of here, y'all. Last comment I'm going to get to is uh, Louisiana boy James was good, my brother. Been through part of the channel for a minute. He said, what do you think about Diamond's character? Well, me, I think that hmm, Diamond is going to probably have some type of epiphany and because of this parole officer saying God giving you a second chance because when he mentioned about God and giving you a second chance or a third chance or whatever and you possibly blowing it, the music kind of changed a little bit and they kind of like zoomed in on him as if he was like really thinking about what he just said as if like he heard that. And so I think by the end of this season, Diamond is going to go through a few things that's going to possibly make him want to get out the game and go straight, maybe even be a preacher. They call me Diamond Prayers, baby. Give me what they call them, Creflo Dollar. Creflo Diamond, baby. Give me some of that money and I'll get you some of that 
honey from God. <laughs> but uh, I think that that's what's going to probably happen with him. Um, because right now, his life, he looking at going back to jail any moment. Well, I'll be waiting. But uh, <laughs> yeah, he can't associate with any known felons. That right there is going to be over with for him because he damn near, that's all he associate with. And then, let alone all the other things that he going to have to go through, whether it's the drug test and everything else. So although we don't really see him as a weed smoker really too much in this show, the one bad thing about weed is to stay in your system the longest out of all the drugs, uh, which is just crazy considering all the other stuff is so much worse for you and it just runs right through you. But I guess that's why, you know, it's so much worse for me. Than I don't know. <clears throat> Let me get up out of here. But I appreciate everybody for watching. Um, definitely had a little fun doing some impressions hope y'all enjoyed the video i will be back sunday to talk about the shy i got a lot going on and the new channel that uh i'm launching and working on uh before i go let me uh show you guys the channel and uh i'll share the link check it on out um and then uh you know in the meantime I am trying to put out some more videos about power. So um, book four, as well as the shy. Here's the link to the channel. And uh, I hope you all enjoy it. I'll put the link in the uh, description box as well. For people to check it out, it's about me and cars. One of the things that I enjoy and I just put up a new video about this Jaguar that I really liked. I put up the Shagwar. Hey, baby, check out the Shagwar, baby. <laughs> but it's me checking out cars, Jay's Hot Wheels. Uh, and <clears throat> I appreciate the support, you know, trying to check it on now, get started. And, uh, I know it may seem like I may not have been doing as many things, uh, but I actually have been trying to expand and I hope everybody, you know, check it out, enjoy some of the videos and I will continue to make more. So I hope everybody like it. I'm trying to stay busy. That's, that's the key, I guess, to life. The more you can stay busy, the less you can get into trouble or think about negative thoughts. <laughs> so, hey, they say idle, idle mind is the devil's playground. So I definitely have found that to be true. So I try to stay busy as much as possible. <clears throat> anyway, I appreciate everybody for coming through. Next time, don't be so shy. Come on up, say a few things. We can ch chat about the show. And I'll see y'all on the next episode. I'm out of here. Deuces.